<laughs> Sketchy. Hi, hello, welcome, salutations. Uh, welcome back to my iPad screen. This is Josh, and today I'm drawing faces. I am uh, obsessed with drawing faces. If you follow me on social media, uh, you know that I uh, like to draw faces, portraits, caricatures, not so much caricatures, uh, cartoonized comic booky art. It depends on the subject. It depends on the feeling I'm going for. But while I was watching, enjoying slash enduring all nearly three hours of Wakanda Forever, a very difficult uh, sequel with some good stuff in it, I was just taken with the beautiful faces on display in this film. And I knew that I had to uh, get home and and uh, draw some of them. So I've already worked out some of the... Um, the proportions and the shaping here, and I'm just inking in this drawing of M'Baku, portrayed by the great uh, and versatile Winston Duke. Um, now, this actual still that I'm using for reference, I believe, is from the first Black Panther movie. I don't think this is from the sequel, but uh, we don't need to worry ourselves about that. Um, but yeah, when I'm drawing a likeness, I, uh, I'm not necessarily, you know, I always use photo reference if it's of a, of a human being. Uh, and but I'm not trying to recreate a photo. I'm trying to capture something in a in a piece of art. So uh, I'm going for kind of a hybrid, realistic slash comic booky slash animation type of a look and feel. And in this case, I guess this leans heavily into the the comic book uh, look and feel for obvious reasons. But um, yeah, uh, you know, this is a great actor, Winston Duke. He can play kind of a bookish, you know. Uh, intellectual type characters or, or weird characters. There's a movie called Nine Days, I believe, that he's in with Z uh, Zazie, Zazie Bates, which is a weird indie movie. I'm not sure how I feel about the movie, but I was very impressed with his performance. And then, of course, he can play uh, the powerful M'Baku. Uh, he can be quite goofy, too. So I, I, I really enjoy this guy's performances. And uh, here I am with my patented coloring uh, technique. So I'm not coloring in these these pictures. I am uh, in love with line art. If it's up to me, if I'm just drawing for fun, I'll almost always just create a line art drawing. Sometimes I'll fill in uh, black areas like I'm doing here. But uh, you're also going to see, actually, that I tr attempted to do uh, some shading on the lips here, thinking it might give depth to the picture. But then in, in the final image, which will pop up momentarily, I backed off on that. But yeah, I am uh, seduced by the line, as they say. And I'll color in if it's being printed or if it's a commission or whatever. But if it's up to me and I just want to capture something, I enjoy looking at line art the most. All right, now it's time for phase two. This is a Nakia portrait, of course, by the uh, amazing Lupita Nyong'o, one of the most beautiful humans in the world. I, uh, Because she's such a unique and alien-looking beauty... I was convinced that this was going to be not easy, but that it was going to be satisfying and successful. And I, I'm telling you right now, I'm sharing this in the spirit of, uh, you know, disclosure and education. But I do not feel that I nailed this likeness. Uh, even here, the, this first draft, I definitely it does not look like Lupita at all. Uh, you'll see that I, I actually move on and finish the rest of the drawing. And then I go back and, and mess with the mouth some more, since I think that is the key to the likeness with her. But I guess I consider this a drawing of the character more than a drawing of Lupita Nyong'o. Maybe I will make another go and try to draw her again. There is another actor uh, that I have tried thinking that her unique features would, would make it uh, uh, not easy, but but satisfying and successful. Um, that's Anya Taylor-Joy. I've tried three or four times to draw Anya Taylor-Joy, and you won't find those pictures around because they were not successful. I was surprised how difficult it was to capture uh, the spark of, of her likeness in a drawing. So, uh, But here, I, 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 I keep going. I guess I'm, I'm still messing with the mouth here. I will do so even more, but I'm, in a moment here, you'll see that I just decide to move on and, and finish the hair. Uh, this cool uh, hair style that she has in the movie. But um, faces. I think I'll probably talk more about faces in, in upcoming videos. This has become a real obsession of mine. I'm going to make an, a, a video that I've been promising. I think I'm going to record it today, talking about my journey as an artist and, and how I've landed on this kind of portraits, fan art, movie characters and faces uh, aesthetic that I'm kind of obsessed with and 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 uh, sticking with for the time being.
but I'm entering the home stretch with this uh, particular drawing. I don't know if I would call either of these drawings a smashing success, but sometimes I just have a, uh, a burning desire within me after seeing a movie or a show or just uh, thinking about something, reading about something in particular where I know that I need to make a make an attempt i need to get it out of my system and, and this was this was the uh the exercise here plenty of other faces that i could have drawn um from this film right angela bassett uh, the actor playing namor the villain is very interesting i'm sorry i don't have his name on the tip of my tongue but uh that, that's what that's what i came away with most from this oh letitia wright of course as shuri she's got a great face as well but these were the faces i landed on and of course inadvertently i hit upon an us reunion all right that's it bye